tutorial on using the Apple Classroom 2.0 app <clears throat> to, to do ad hoc classes, meaning you can pretty much run it yourself, uh, enroll students yourself as a teacher, and have um, complete control over iPads within your classroom. So the first thing is the teacher needs to install this Apple Classroom app. It can be done from the App Store. It's a free install. Only the teacher needs to install this app. And so we're gonna open that. Here's Apple Classroom. And the teacher will need to create a new class. You can name your class whatever you'd like. So we're gonna call this period one math. Uh, you can choose a color for that class if you'd like. There's a number of colors there and then you'll click done. So now that class is here. Now for students on their iPads, they're gonna open the settings app on their iPads. Remember, they do not need to install the class, Apple Classroom app. And right here underneath the Bluetooth is where the Apple Classroom will show up, but it doesn't show up until the teacher is over here, opens their class and clicks on add students. So once that happens, notice that the Classroom app shows up in the settings menu for the student iPads. All they need to do is click up here, add period one math, and it'll ask them for the four digit code, which the teacher will give them. So the students will each enter their code and then they will click add in the upper right hand corner. They are now automatically added into that class, but the teacher has to confirm. So it's asking if you wanna add those students and the teacher just clicks the add button there. And now the students are added into that class. Now, if the student clicks on period one math, they can remove themselves from the class. They can also go in and change their name, etc. however they want. These are features that um, cannot be locked down at this time. But these, there are some pieces here that need to be set. So join classes automatically. These were already set up prior to this video. You'll wanna make sure that students click always. So you have complete control. It's uh, at ask, I think, when it's first set up. So students will need to go in and change these settings. Once they're changed for the first time, then the um, teacher will have complete control. So now over here on the teacher iPad, we have the students in our classroom. We can go back in and add additional students. Up here are the rest of the features. We can open any app by clicking on there and we can open apps that are on our teacher iPad that are also on the student iPad. So if the app isn't on the student iPad, we won't be able to open it. So I'm just gonna click on the clock here and notice the two student iPads open the clock um, app. The students can navigate out of those apps, but it makes it easier to take them in. The teacher can click done here on their iPad and they're back to the main menu. The teacher can also choose to have students uh, to navigate student iPads to a specific place in iBooks, iTunes U, or Safari. Safari uses bookmarks from the teacher iPad, so you'll want to set those up first. Whatever bookmarks you have in Safari, you'll have access to. And then we will click on a specific website. The two student iPads open that web page in Safari automatically. The teacher can click done or the teacher can go to that website on their own iPad by clicking there. The next feature is to lock the student iPads. It's very simple. All you gotta do is click the lock icon and the two student iPads are locked. You do need to click done here on your teacher iPad and they will remain locked until you come back in as a teacher and unlock them. Next, we have a mute option. We can uh, mute student iPads, meaning that we can take uh, turn off the volume for the students if, if something is too loud. Uh, we're not gonna demo that here because we're not using any audio. The next one is screens. We can see the screens for each student iPad. So if a student is in a specific app over here, it will show that on the menu. Um, it's pretty small, so if you wanna see more in depth, just click on that student's iPad icon and then you have the full menu where you can navigate individual students to apps and websites. You can lock that individual student down. So now we've locked that student. Again, we have to click done or uh, we can also go back in and unlock the iPad. Um, we can go in and get a full screen view right here within the view screen and it'll show on the teacher iPad the um, uh, full screen that the student is looking at. And back at the main menu, 
We also have uh, the ability to look at each student individually. So it's showing us where each student, they'll show up here at the top. We can, and last but not least, we can create groups. So over here where it says group, you can click on that and you can group iPads into different places. And then you can choose to uh, control various group iPads in groups instead of as a whole class or individually. Once you're uh, finished with the class, students can uh, navigate wherever they like. And then as a teacher, you need to come up here to the top left hand corner and click end class and you're back to where you started. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, contact your personalized learning partner and we hope you enjoy using the Apple Classroom app.